y'all welcome to my youtube channel today i wanted to share an easy and delicious keto recipe with y'all today i wanted to share how to make a keto big mac meatloaf so basically what we're gonna do is turn that mcdonald's big mac into a meatloaf form that is keto friendly. It's a really simple recipe, so I promise that even if you have no cooking skills, you can throw this one together. So without further ado, let's hop right into the recipe. Begin by preheating your oven to 350 degrees. I'm gonna begin by adding two pounds of ground beef into a bowl. To the ground beef, I'm gonna add two teaspoons of onion powder and two teaspoons of garlic powder and about a teaspoon of salt. I'm just gonna grind in some of this pink salt. Up next, add in one egg. Now add in two cups of crushed pork rinds. I pulsed these pork rinds in my food processor to crush them, super simple. And lastly, I'm going to add in two tablespoons of Worcestershire sauce. Now I'm going to go in with my hands and mix this well. Once you finish mixing up your meatloaf mixture, we're going to set it aside for just a minute and you're gonna need to grab yourself a loaf pan. I lined mine with parchment paper just to make sure that it doesn't stick and I would recommend that you do the same. But just a regular size loaf pan is what I'm using. So what we're going to do now is take about half of our meatloaf mixture and press it into the bottom of the loaf pan. Now that half of my meatloaf mixture is pressed into the loaf pan, I cubed up eight ounces of American cheese and I am just going to add that right into the center of the meatloaf. Feel free to use cheddar, but American cheese is, I know, a little bit more dirty keto, but it's just gonna give you that authentic Big Mac flavor. Also, I'm using Kraft Singles that I sliced up because we are not leaving the house right now and this is all we had. So here we go, y'all. It's all about cooking with what we got in our fridge at the moment. Now take your remaining meat and press that over the top, being sure to seal the edges. And now our Big Mac meatloaf is ready to go in our oven. We're gonna place it in the preheated 350 degree oven for approximately one hour or until the internal temperature of this reaches 160 degrees because we wanna make sure this thing is fully cooked. So I'm gonna go pop this bad boy in the oven and then we're gonna make the sauce that goes on top. While the meatloaf is cooking in the oven, we're gonna go ahead and mix up the Big Mac secret sauce that is going to go on top of our meatloaf. We're gonna begin by adding 1 fourth of a cup of mayo. Up next, I'm gonna add in two tablespoons of dill relish. Make sure it is dill relish and not sweet relish or you'll be adding a bunch of extra carbs. Up next, add half of a teaspoon of onion powder half a teaspoon of garlic powder, and half of a teaspoon of paprika. One tablespoon of mustard. And the final ingredient for the sauce is one fourth of a teaspoon of white wine vinegar. Now mix up your sauce and then I'm just gonna set it in the refrigerator so that all the flavors can mix together when it is time to go on top of our meatloaf. After about an hour in the oven, my meatloaf is fully cooked. I checked it with a meat thermometer and it was over 160 degrees, so we are good to go. About halfway through cooking, I pulled this out of the oven and drained off the excess grease just to help it crisp up a little bit. But I took it out, it's been cooling for about 10 to 15 minutes just so that I could get it out of the loaf pan. 
And what we're going to do is take our Big Mac sauce and put that over the top. All right, y'all, it is time for the big reveal. Let's cut into this bad boy. Ooh, you can't see it because I cut too big of a slice, but here we go. Look at that. Yum, it is full of ooey gooey cheese covered in the Big Mac sauce. Oh my golly, y'all. This is gonna be so good. Well, y'all, there you go. That is how you make a keto Big Mac meatloaf. It tastes absolutely delicious, and I hope you give it a try at home. So if you enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel down below if you haven't done so. And I will see y'all again very, very soon with another video.